Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Dear students, today I will start Pearson and Excel A-level exam for Mechanics 1. This exam is taken by Tuesday 7th of May 2024. Paper FS code is WME01-01. Let us start question number 1. Two particles A and B have masses M and 3M respectively. The particles are connected by a light inextensible string. Initially, A and B are at rest on smooth horizontal plane with the string slack. Particle A is then projected along the plane away from B with speed u. Given that the common speed of particles immediately after the string becomes taut is s. Find s in terms of u. First part, we have to find s in terms of u. Let me draw uh, the diagram for this one. Two, there are two particles A and B. They have masses m and 3m respectively let's say this is the particle b and here we have particle a these two particles they have masses uh, m and 3m this has mass m and this one is 3m and they are connected by a string but the string is slack like this okay it is not tight This is particle A and this one is particle B. Now A is given a speed u away from B. Speed Initial speed of A is u away from B. Away from B means this will be this way. Initial speed for A will be u and this speed will be 0. This one is at rest. Okay. For sure now string will be tight and both particles will move uh, along this line with common speed s let me draw the figure when the string is tight this is b this one is a now the string is tight like this and both of them they are moving with the common speed s let's say they are moving this way their common speed is s both particles uh, now become one particle they will move with one as a one particle and they are moving with speed s after the string is tight this is m this one is 3m let's say this is uh, before the string is taught like this is before and this one is after Here we will apply law of conservation of momentum that is equals to momentum before collision equals to momentum after collision. But here is no collision. Here is uh, some different thing here uh, before the string is tight or after string is tight. Okay. Uh, what are the things here? We can write here M1 U1 plus M2 U2 is equals to M1 V1 plus M2 V2. This is law of conservation of momentum. We can apply it to find the value of S. Here I will consider this way positive, like uh, the speed, the velocity is this way I will take positive, the left side. Uh, for sure this is 0 and here we will take this one u, z, this uh, u will be positive because I am considering here, you have to consider the direction, okay, in all these questions. This is very important. Now, plug in the values, uh, mass for A is uh, m and the speed for A before the string is tight, that is u. So plug in here this becomes zero because the initial speed for particle b is zero so once zero multiply m2 will be zero here both particles are moving with the same speed here mass is m for particle a and the speed for a will be s so you can write here s plus mass of m2 like particle b will be 3m and speed of v2 is same like s okay now solving it will be m u is equals to m s plus 3 m s will be 4 m s m is cancelled from both sides and we get the answer for s that will be equals to 1 over 4 u so this is the common speed after the string is tight first part is done hopefully you understand it now second part 
find in terms of m and u the magnitude of the impulse exerted on a immediately after the sting becomes taut for second part we need to find the impulse on a for a you have to write the stuff like what is the initial speed for a initial speed for a is u and final speed is f initial speed for a is u final speed for a is s okay and we know that uh, impulse formula is change in momentum change in momentum is in final minus final momentum minus initial momentum okay mv minus mu this is the formula for finding the impulse we can keep uh, n common so it will be v minus u you can use this formula to find the impulse so here plug in the values uh, as i told you earlier let's say consider the direction this way positive okay so here i will be equals to m m into v you because you want to find the impulse on a we can write here v a minus u a plug in the values mass for particle a is m and final speed for a is s minus initial speed that is u now we can use the value of s here so m will be equals m into value of this s is 1 over 4 u minus u it will give you the answer m into negative 3 over 4 1 over 4 minus 1 is th minus 3 over 4 u and answer is negative here minus 3 over 4 m u actually uh, i consider that this way positive uh, but this answer is giving negative negative does not means that answer is wrong it is just showing the direction of impulse is not this way positive it will be the opposite side impulse will act this way for for particle a for sure and here for particle b impulse acts this way you can mention this direction here later on so but we want to find the magnitude magnitude is positive therefore mag magnitude of impulse will be equals to 3 over 4 mu so this is the answer negative is just showing the direction of the impulse okay so magnitude will be positive that's it so this is the answer for the second part of question number one hopefully you understand it if you have any question any doubt please write in the comment box thank you